Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm just going to show you guys how to install Ubuntu Mate on the Raspberry Pi 2. Now this is my favorite OS for the Raspberry Pi so far. I've run a bunch of OS's and uh, so far this is my favorite. You can install tons of software such as XBMC, which is Kodi. Um, you can install Minecraft Pi. There's emulators to run. Um, I'm really loving this OS. Now this is 15.0.4. And uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. First up, you're going to need the image for Ubuntu Mate. We're going to go right down here and uh, just open up Chrome or whatever web browser that you use. And just type in Ubuntu Mate. I'll also leave the link in the description for you guys. So we're going to go here. Now this is UbuntuMate.org. I'm going to scroll down to this big old beautiful raspberry right here. Give her a click. I'm going to scroll down. And I have downloaded it using the torrent um, that they provided for you. Now I have already downloaded um, Ubuntu Mate. I've extracted it and I've placed it in a folder on my desktop. So you're also going to need two other pieces of software. First up, you're going to need SD formatter. Now I will leave the link in the description for everything that we're doing here. And you're going to need Win32 Disk Imager. So let's go ahead and open up SD formatter. Now my SD card is in a USB card reader and this is a micro SD. This is an 8 gigabyte cheap class 10 SanDisk um, micro SD card. Now I'm sure that mine is named D here. So just make sure that you are choosing the correct SD card and not a USB stick that you may have plugged in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rename this SD card. I'm going to go ahead and format my SD card here. Yes. Yes. Okay. So now you can see that this is an 8 gigabyte SD card. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of SD formatter. Next up, I'm going to need to open up Win32 Disk Imager. Now I have my SD card shows right here. Now you want to click on this little blue folder and navigate to wherever you placed your image for the Ubuntu Mate. Now it comes as a zipped folder, so you're going to need to go ahead and extract it. I've already done so. So I'm going to go ahead and click here on my desktop. And I place it in a Raspberry Pi folder. And here we are, Ubuntu Mate 15.0.4. I'm going to go ahead and double click on this. Now we are ready to write to the SD card. Now depending on how fast your SD card is, this can take on up to 10 minutes. So just be warned, it may take a little bit. Um, if you have a nice fast SD card, I, it could go pretty smooth for you. So I'm going to go ahead and write. First up, I want to make sure that this is correct. Yes, I definitely have my SD card named D. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and write. It's going to warn me. Are you sure you want to write? I am sure. So I went ahead and did it. I'm going to go ahead and skip this for you guys. And um, when I'm done, we'll go ahead and boot up the Raspberry Pi. And uh, I'll show you what it's all about. So this is going to be the first video here for um, this Next video, I will show you how to install Minecraft Pi, Overclock, and install Kodi XBMC Player. Alright guys, the write was successful. We're going to go ahead and pull the SD card from the PC and insert it into the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so this is the first boot on the Raspberry Pi 2 running Ubuntu Mate. And it takes a little while. It's self-explanatory to set up. Just pick your language, your keyboard layout. And um, depending on how fast your SD card is, it can take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes to set up. I just went ahead and fast-forwarded this for you. All right, setup is complete. And now we're doing the first real boot to the desktop. And from here, you can go ahead and get online. You set your Wi-Fi up or your Ethernet, whichever you prefer. I'm using a small USB Wi-Fi dongle. So this is just the first um, video that I'm doing here. This is just how to set it up on the SD card and get it running. Next video, I will show you how to install Minecraft Pi and Kodi 
and a few other applications. I appreciate you guys watching. Hit that like button and subscribe.